Yep. Really huge losers around there. Yeah. Bro, he went to losers in, I think, the 33rd place spot against Kronos. Crazy. Yeah. Might have even been And he earlier. even got to come back. They yeah. went to yeah, run back. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. Oh. So, interesting PS2. scenario. I was going to say PS2 against Mari. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Top player Tarek knows, bro. <laughs> sorry, yeah, Tarek, okay, nobody okay, else knows. Uh, dude, what is up with that? I don't know. I Maybe don't know. I think Tweak himself has said that he is very bad at choosing stages. And, you know, yeah. MK Leo, I think, is also pretty bad at choosing stages. Like, these guys just let their opponents go to their best stage or pick it themselves sometimes. You, you got to get an LG coach or something. Come on, man. Get, hey, get bro, a stage picking me specialist a raise. and I'll do <laughs> it. Max stage uh, picking specialist coach. Oh, that's yet. Yeah. Uh, that DI okay. was pretty good. Stay away from the platform for that second hit. Like, really stay Ooh. in between the two platforms. It makes it harder for Mario to get anything. Uh, do y'all have any good uh, ditties out in NorCal or in this area? Does he have massive experience? I mean, we had we used to have like more ditties, but now not so much. But in Smash Four, uh, one one of Krama's like uh, main like rivals was a ditty player. I don't know if you guys remember legit. legit. Yeah, oh, of course, yeah. Legit. Of course, yeah. Yeah. Man. yeah. Lots the goat. Yeah, yeah. That definitely made uh, both of them question whether the matchup was good or not, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel like Mario probably has a very tiny advantage over Diddy. The combo game is great. You've got some answers to him off stage. But I, I think pound for pound, Diddy has better normals, and Mario always struggles with getting outranged. Right. Oh, nice. I think before, too, like, you would just see up smashes, rogue up smashes, but now, like, Diddy's are more wary about, like, how they position Ooh, themselves. Wow. The chase, chase down. down. That was beautiful. Nice job. Like we said, I think NorCal, I was just playing against Luis. Y'all in NorCal, so good at picking up on roller defensive habits. Oh, like, yeah, it's yeah. like a NorCal special. That, we, that's, uh, you know what? To beat all the players uh, that like come out to all of our events, you have to be good, so good at chasing them. Would back them. throw not have killed? Am I crazy? I think it would have. Like, oh, oh, well, oh, up air kill. It doesn't matter. Whatever, it's, don't you guys yeah, love that? Don't good. you guys love that Mario's up, up air, that combos, also kills? <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that amazing? Yeah, it's pretty insane that even when it's stale from all the comboing you did, it could still get the job done. Nice. But Karama off to an early lead here. Tweak, you gotta find some kind of banana confirm, otherwise Mario's gonna be around here for a long time. Or Ooh, down zone, of double. Hey. Doesn't take it. Bro! Uh, what crazy. do they feed him? PS2, bro. <laughs> I don't know what to say. It's all the pasta. They feed him PS2s? <laughs> They feed him. He's eating <laughs> not, not the Slims. <laughs> yeah, the fat PS2s. <laughs> the OGs, the OGs. Yeah, with the Ethernet port in the back. I was going to say, yo. <laughs> I, I feel like Diddy, correct me if I'm wrong, like those up smashes, it's so hard to kill without rage, right? Those down tilt into up smashes. I feel like people live forever. Right. Wow. Still almost living that back air somehow. I'm telling you, man. Ooh. Oh, no. Does it take it? Okay. Uh, good yeah. D, uh, right DI right there. Pulling off to the side, not going off the top. Wait, that back air was smooth. What the heck? Your nice, was. dude. That was a very late landing fair, too. Amazing parry timing for Karama. Oh, These fireballs are going to hit that's it. eventually. Yes. Oh, oh wait. Just uh, okay, making okay, sure. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. not only that, but he got time to charge the plug, too. W. Wait, Karama's actually playing so confident today. He's, He's playing insane. really calm and collected, as it seems. Like, He's, he knows when Tweet wants to throw something out, wants to combat against uh, Karama, but he also knows when he wants to stay back, and then he's respecting it and just taking his time for it. I really think there's something to be said about playing this tournament in your local venue. Right? Imagine True. if oh, yeah. Tweet was playing a Platinum Star or something, it would feel like just another day at work. So, a lot less of an adjustment period for Karama, really showing that in this set. The banana Ooh. was on the ground there, otherwise he could have pulled it and covered the platform with it, so unlucky break for Tweak. But Karama, man, I love what you said, Tarek. He's just playing confidently. Ooh, Boys, that should do it. No yeah. way. Oh, the up didn't even connect. Yeah, wow. it, it, weirdest hits right there, but you don't want to be in those positions against Mario on P like PS2, man, and Mario. It's a new Dreamland Mario, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just, it's got <laughs> it. Dreamland or, or Yoshi yeah, stories. Yeah, like, yeah. you gotta, it's, it's just, it is what it is, man. I, man, Karama's actually doing a really that good job. That was weird, by yeah. the way. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we all Oh, stop it, nobody baby. like that. Air. Nobody like that. Why does that kill? Why that's that's not fair. Yeah, man. Um, dude, Karama's actually doing nice, such a good dude. job, like catching these monkey flips too. Usually, I feel like Tweak is such a hard player to ca like understand how he's moving, and Karama's really kind of buckling down on this. Yeah, chase. I I want to say, too, Karama's clearly done his homework on this matchup. You saw the instant cave Trump to grab the wedge and then drop down in neutral air. Like, <laughs> the you way you were Trump surprised. Face. He's like, that, that connected? Yeah. I know, even Karama hasn't seen that one, which is really because he's done that about a billion times in his life. 
Yeah. The one coin, I think, was the most surprising part, right? Yeah, it was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. kid, run your pockets. Yeah, just give me exactly. that one $20 you only, bill and one nothing 20. else. Yeah. You only had one coin there? What? <laughs> Where's the rest? <laughs> broke ass. <laughs> <laughs> You're a broke boy, just say, say so. so. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We've been dropping that one on. <laughs> <laughs> that one's been hitting, honestly. <laughs> all right, all right, game two. Uh, not PS2, small battlefield this time, but still a great stage for Mario. I yeah. gotta imagine, like, banning against Mario is pretty tough. It I is. It's so hard. Everyone in our region complains about it, too. It's just like, every stage is a Mario stage. Yeah. Well, maybe Mario really is just good. Yeah, yeah exactly. exactly. I mean, Crazy it's true. Gone. True. Facts. Cool. Now, this is something we didn't really see from Tweak in the last game, is that offense, that technical banana play uh, that he's known for, and getting big damage and big hits, and he's off to a pretty decent lead here wow. in Game 2. I mean, let's be real, it's like 11 in the morning, these players usually run oh on gamer God. hours, gotta make a little adjustment. <laughs> Sometimes you need one to wake up. Oh! From up there on the platform, you too? You wanna talk about conversions and offense? You gotta look no further than my man Kurama. That was disgusting. Take him any stage you want, man, he's gonna find a kill. I'm pretty sure he also reacted to DDI, because if it was DI in, the fair wouldn't have got off stage. No, yeah, that, that was really smart. I, I feel like Tweak's also been doing like a pretty good job like mixing up how you DI like after the second like up air. Obviously the first one you're not gonna DI as well, but the second one, pretty good at mixing it up. Yeah. Chrome has been tracking. You guys called it out really well, Tarek and Snorlax, is that like the percentage for Mario kills, it's not like those high red percentages. He's looking for you around those mid 30, 40, 50, looking to just carry you off the stage like that. I'm not sure like people even think about it too much too like you have to play so careful at that percent range But other than outside of that you can actually be a little bit belligerent Nice up nice angle left tilt. Yep. It and aired still making it back. Yeah, I, was say, I was looking for the angel drop man I was gonna say some oh. of the best magnet hands in the game period yeah, Born for sure, Mario, for yeah. sure. It's, it's, Thanks to all those coins man. Yeah, professor X hates this guy <laughs> <laughs> He's jealous <laughs> Wolverine too, man. Yeah, yeah, true <laughs> That's such an unfair matchup. Oh, nice. There you go. We're seeing Tweet come to life just a little bit on his conversions. There we go. Because so far, the offense has been all Karama, especially in game one, the beginning of game two. But here comes Tweet, man, marching back in and taking the lead back. Oh, wow. Nice, dude. That's going to be big damage. Right, Tweet breaking free, but Karama's just going to find another one. I love that. He knew that Uppy had no shot of killing. Look Ooh. for a reset. The pivot boosted F tilt, by the way. Nice. Yeah. That's one of Karama's signatures for sure. Usually the down angle the one. Down there. Ah, there it is. That's a Diddy Mario matchup classic that we've seen basically since Smash 4 is that you try to monkey flip high, he double jumps, gets you with the down air, and it pops you right off the top. I think, I think we were talking about this earlier, Has It's just like whenever someone dips under a hitbox and then Ooh. double jumps into it, back into it, it's always sick. Uh-huh. You gotta cover those high options. You gotta tell Diddy players, I know I'm gonna cover monkey flip high. You gotta at least make them think about it. Yeah, and then once they start thinking about it, they kind of second guess themselves. The game plan starts to fall apart. Tweak obviously cut from a different cloth, but still, everyone's got habits you can exploit. Mm -hmm. Very true. You know, he only just learned how to do that wall jump recently, like maybe like a month yeah. ago. He's still pretty inconsistent with it, but he loves nice. trying it. Solid. Downtown, getting that banana conversion into a down smash. A couple up airs, though. That's big damage. Huh? Krom is so good at cashing out at the right time, too. Whether it's neutral air or back air to end his combos, like he doesn't overextend too much. It's great. Yeah, I, I, I always like it whenever he gets an up tilt. Right straight into it, but Tweak, hey, we're gonna take game two. Tweak's looking really good right now. He is bringing it back currently. He has a lot of momentum going into Ooh, the Ooh, how do you react so to that? That tilt to interrupt the dash attack is so good because Diddy's dash attack is godlike. Crosses up pretty safe on either side, so just interrupting it is super smart. Did you see how far to the behind Krama yeah, that oh, it went? Yeah, and yeah, Krama yeah. chased down well, afterwards. Yeah, but we're gonna need a replay on that, obviously. <laughs> what what the was heck? that? Yeah, several factors made that a crazy Check him play hitbox. From I've had enough of this. <laughs> Tweak or uh, Karama is a very skilled player. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> no, definitely though. For I, real. I'm actually. Oh! Oh! It was a good mix by Karama, but Tweak with the patience, it just didn't pay off. Down tilt, looking for a defensive option. He can't find it, man. There it is. Wow, did F2 be safe? No way. Down tilt. Oh, nothing. no panic. Karama from is not panicking at all. At all, man. I was gonna say like Tweak has been doing a lot of monkey flips towards. And that's not usual, like, tweak oh, behavior. He does have a jump. He does have a jump. Yeah. Oh, whoa, no! What? No, you're going to lose oh, the game. Oh, oh, oh. He didn't grab the ledge either. That was the game right there. That was the game. Oh, my if God. If Karama was taking Ooh. it. 
Bro, I'm like lightheaded after that. Yeah. Oh my god, I didn't know what was gonna happen. Like 40% less on Karama, and we might have seen a very that different outcome. That beer Did he just... fly at? Wow, I think Karama just mistimed it a little bit, dude. Yeah. Look at this too. Yeah, Tweak did yeah, not. Can... I don't think he's gonna grab the left. No yeah, shot. he's still. No yeah, shot. he's still. Yeah, he's still in that animation. Dang. Wow, dude. What an ending. That is the second time this tournament we've seen Tweak at KOs with barrels, by the way. We saw him mm -hmm. do it against Mia. Mm -hmm. This time it was more oh, of a Karama thing. Let's go that rocket barrels. That was disgusting, disgusting, by the way. Just, that was Jimmy Clip of the day Innovating the Diddy meta with yeah. rocket barrels right yeah, there. Man. So. At this point in the meta, you got to do everything. You're, you got to be a vulture <laughs> with your character, right? There's scraps everywhere. You do whatever you can to get the KOs. You see how crucial it is. Last hit against Karama. You want to go down 2-0 against Karama? There's no way. Tweak able to take that one down, honestly. I mean, it was more Karama just not getting the right edge guard, too, I gotta say. Remember in Brawl where D barrels was actually your edge guard tool? Like, you jump off, you uh, you up B, get back to ledge. But in Brawl, he didn't have to charge his barrels at all. Yeah. It went so far on, like, just not charging. That was so sick. But I'm glad they changed that because it, like, fits the, the move better. In this game, though, if you go straight horizontal, you don't have to charge for shit. Oh, uh, yeah, it's true. So it's true, yeah. Yes. And you have to be. It's like RNG whether or not you're gonna hit the ledge or die. <laughs> like, uh, like yeah. Bounce off. yeah. Every time he goes for it, I get so nervous. You, when he you, goes the but you have you to gotta be a little below the ledge and curve up at the, mm. at the end. Oh, yeah. Okay. And then you'll never crash. You, you have to like have that mix up too, because you can't just always rely on monkey flip. Even though there's two different monkey flips, right? The slow one and the fast one. Yeah. Like you still need to delay with rocket barrels and make it back. Like yeah. So, it's rough. It's though, the speed, the different speeds they travel at, and the coverage of the hitbox on top of Diddy that makes the up so valuable. Yeah. yeah. I gotta say, I'm very, very impressed with Karama's ability to play this matchup. And, and most of it is, I mean, so many players get afraid of Tweak when they're playing him, and that's how he gets his big combos and oh, big reads. Oh. But Karama, man, it's been the Karama show a thousand percent. Yeah, bro, he recognizes no gods, no top players. He's just <laughs> here to up air <laughs> <No> everybody. <gods. laughs> uh, that's, that's great. I don't know what time it is in France, but I know Humming's ass is up right now watching this. <laughs> oh, it's not yeah, yeah, my guy. Time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out to my guy, bro. That's my guy. Maison, me. Oh wow. my god, Perry City right now. Yeah. You got epilepsy, look away from the screen. Yeah. That's in France. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Perry City's in France too. Yeah. Oh, oh wow, wait. punch on the re-grab. Diddy's ledge hang actually being really, really good. Yeah, nice. it is. I think one of the best in the game, People right? don't talk about it, yes. Him, like Sonic and Ganon, some, one of those doesn't belong. Like. <laughs> yeah, why did they give that to Sonic? Ooh, I don't know, the Sonic <laughs> one's insane. I feel like Tweak is going to hit one of those banana dares. He's been going for it constantly. He's going to get up with the roll, and Kurama oh. looked like he had everything else covered right there. Let's see. Tweak, can you somehow fight your way back Ooh. to an even match? This is not looking good. I like that he got aggressive with the banana peel. I feel like he's been taking his time too much at the ledge, and Kurama, amazing recovery, and then reversaling on stage, man. He's playing so well. He really is. He's controlling the stage really well. He's controlling the pace. Like, mm -hmm. everything is just Kurama's game right now. Definitely. Yeah. And the control, you said it, is like the key word right now for Kurama. Look at the movement, man. The confidence from this kid. I love it. And the fireball game has been pretty good, too, right? Like, it feels like usually Tweak has, like, the, the ground. But, oh, gosh. Wait, hold on. Okay. We're still on stage. Love that. Oh, Not chasing. Nice. Wow. He knew he had no way still to kill alive. him or even follow up. There's so many situations where Karama barely lives in up smash, by the way. It's happened several times throughout the set, and how much of a difference maker can it be? And again, living. Wow. All right, air dog. Again, the magnet hands. Oh my god, wow. the late neutral air conversion. Very nice. I love Mario's back throw on the stage, by the way. It pretty much gets him off, off stage no matter where he is. Yeah. Great base knockback on that move. He wants it down for back, but didn't believe in it. Wow. I think Karama did get up attack. And yeah. Get up attack from like a trip. Doesn't have that much invulnerability. So that's why he could just down smash him. Was fine with it. Uh, wow. Bait. Bait a thousand percent. Throw up back air. You try to roll by it. He's covering it up. Smash. I like back air is actually just so ridiculous Ooh. for Mario. It's so unfair. Yoink by the. That was gross. The pivot grab? Man, he's firing all cylinders right now. Karama woke up, man. Yeah, he is looking unstoppable right now. Ooh! Oh, pushing him back. We haven't seen a lot of flood, which I'm a little surprised by, but I like that Karama's doing it. Oh, wow. Getting the banana. Oof. What? Oh, Wait. desperate out of shots. <laughs> yeah. Again, you just gotta let him know sometimes. Uh -huh. <laughs> I got that thing on me. Yeah, the, <laughs> street, street, fi the street Fighter tactic. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm do it anyway. The, the Umahara. <laughs> Dude, the fact that banana to nair didn't even work on Mario, he was able to nair out of that, that's just so troublesome for Diddy. I mean, that's not oh, that's that's like the only interaction that'll matter. And I gotta say, Gavin's looking frustrated right now, man. He definitely does. I see him, dude. I've never seen him have these 
these emotions or these faces in general as the game. Uh, you haven't been watching enough. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. Of, course, hey, of course, of course, of course. Now I know you don't <laughs> no watch American Event events. Hey! <laughs> you haven't been watching him fight Hazus Richter. <laughs> <laughs> True! <laughs> the tweak practice sessions. Uh, dude, it's real. Yeah. Oh, oh what? That's I, okay. crazy. I did not expect No, that. that's unfair. He's doing Man. the hokey pokey and turning and himself around. I gotta say, as well as Karama's playing on offense and hitting pretty much everything, Tweet kind of fumbling a little bit sometimes. Down tilt into nothing. Or he waiting. just did it. Ooh. <laughs> I can't blame him, man. It's tough to combo Mario. This I think character so too. falls out of so much shit naturally. He's got the up B and Nair to break combos or out of shield to break up pressure. This matchup does seem pretty tough. I, I'm going to be honest. I saw like one of the fairs whiff, and I'm like, Tweak's not happy about that. Yeah. Like, well, yep. definitely not. Gosh, whenever you do throw out fair, like, you, you throw it out because you want it to hit. Like, you, mm. if, you, if it whiffs, or if it, even if it hits shield, it's bad. It's never a good thing to throw out fair, uh, unlike the previous game, right? Like, you can just throw it out any time. I don't think he's, that Tweak's going to change, but I know one thing that he works on and thinks about all the time is he has two characters he's very comfortable going Ooh. in tournament, by the way. Yeah, dude, these fireballs wow. are immaculate, but you got to give Tweak credit for threading the needle. But I think the real difference maker so far in the set is the offense from Karama. I think Tweak really can't get anything going. I mean, typically what we see what? from him, I mean, just Tweak has so many... <laughs> you know that happened so fast. <laughs> it did. Game, game popped up as he grabbed him, actually, is what happened. That was wild. Do you guys uh, think you would switch to Sephiroth? I would hope not. I don't, think so. I don't think so. I don't either. think so either. I think That's it's a, a fine matchup. He's won it before, all that good stuff. Yeah, so. yeah. And he's done it clean too. Like I've yeah. seen, I, I've seen Krom come out of that match. It's just, I can't say anything to him. Right? It's just so frustrating. <laughs> <laughs> uh, jump scare. <laughs> Ganon jump scare. Jesus Christ! <laughs> my heart is my throat, bro. <laughs> I don't even think he doesn't even like Ganon. He's like he's like a Captain Falcon hater, you know what I mean? So he's yeah, like definitely yeah. a Ganon hater. Like there's no way Oh my god, Karama right in his face. I'm telling you, very impressed with how much homework oh, Karama has done oh. here. Golly. Oh, this, no. this is dangerous. And you can see Tweak is just in a rush to reset to neutral to get back to center stage, holding in on some of these up airs. You could tell Karama senses the fear and he's so good at capitalizing on it. Mm hmm I was locked in for sure. I never know what to think of Hall Bastion against Mario because we can't forget Hall Bastion oh. has really low ceiling. Ooh, wow. Wow. Oh, wow. Wow. It's all right, we're alive. We're, we're back living. in it. <laughs> we are so back. Uh, yeah, I think sometimes players like Tweak who are so momentum driven and you know emotionally driven in the game, they just need that one thing to reinstill yeah. confidence in themselves. You ever piss them off in a friendly? Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Bro. yeah it's a bad time, man. I, I played them in a bunch oh, of friendlies. Wow. Okay. Nice. At, at big moves, I would get up like two stocks to one, 100% on him, and then he just fucks destroy me up. You, just destroy yeah. you, just destroy you. Wow! Oh, no, he wins so, punish! We didn't even have time to talk about that us smash though, right? I know. Yes. I think like this this stage is so good for Mario, obviously, but I love it for Diddy too for that exact reason. Coverage of monkey flip, banana plus up smash onto the platform, so good. And it, it, it's almost like Diddy Mario, they like similar stages, right? And I think that's why we mm -hmm. keep ending up on these volatile uh, stages throughout the set. Yeah, I mean, Diddy needs the smaller blast zones to be able to kill, right? We saw Karama tank and up smash at what, 145 on Pokemon nice. Stadium. I think it's just so scary because you get hit by a rogue down tilt, up air, or up tilt under the platform, you might be dead, you know? Oh, that air dodge is not a good sign of Tweak's mental state right now, but that combo might be. Yeah, okay, he's just going to opt for the off stage. I gotta say, his offense has picked up a lot, and I think one thing is Karama. Oh, oh boy. Oh, this is dangerous. Oh, this is really dangerous. Oh okay. my god. I couldn't see him because he wasn't even in the magnifier. <laughs> yeah. I know, dude. Oh, okay. Blast is that. <laughs> Peanut blaster, but here we go. Nice. Nah, that was clean. Oh my yep. gosh, he still has banana too. Z grab, man. Are we getting five, boys? I'm starting to get the vibes. I think so. Ooh, yeah, wow. Wow. Fair, yeah. beautiful. And that was also bad DI on Krama's end, too. Trying to hold out to avoid it. And yeah. that's just, yeah. I gotta give Krama a ton of credit, because he's been living so long. I mean, this is the first game we've really seen Tweak's offense come to life, and a huge part of that is Krama knowing when to DI, knowing when he has to either air dodge up here and air, and not getting afraid in the right positions. He's playing exceptionally in the defensive, in the defensive positions. Yeah, I like that double jump right there after the monkey flip, too, right? I'm not getting caught anymore. I yeah. think in general, this is the first time that Tweak actually has a lead in the sense. Yeah, definitely his biggest lead, I'm pretty sure. I think you're right, Tarek. Yeah, the game that he won was kind of by the grace of God. Yeah. Karamo is about to finish it off. That's Let's true, see. actually. How much more extra credit can he get? Diddy's one of those characters that's oh. so hard to approach with kill moves because of Banana. 
Peanut Pop Gun is not normally a threat. I'm surprised Chroma is getting a little bit phased by it. Uh huh. Yeah, that can be really annoying to deal with, especially at the ledge. It's kind of like Chef Jr. with that arc it sends at. The fact that it follows up into more moves. It's just that oh. it hits way less hard. Unlucky. Chroma not getting the last important hit of that down air. Good. Quick grab. All right, it's not going to work that time, actually. He does not have a lot of resources. No here. way, it kill. Out of there too. Yeah. It kill. Uh oh. If you're on the same stock as Karama, you're never truly winning. This yeah. is really scary. Dead actually. even. Dead Just even. Yeah. Last stock, last hit. If oh. you're if you're at zero, you're oh, not gonna no. die. But hey, like now you're at twenty. Oh, no. Wait. Nice. Twenty is actually dangerous, especially with rage. I was gonna say hundred. Yeah. He He's knew not doing it. He's not doing it. He's not getting afraid, man. It, it, Karama just amazing. I'm so impressed by his discipline in this matchup. Very, very impressive. I'm clenching right now. This is so tight. Right? It's really, really close. It shouldn't nice. look like it, but it's really close. Yeah. Any combo starter under that platform, and we very well could see a dead Diddy. It, it's so interesting, too, because center stage, obviously, usually where you want to be, but against Mario, if he gets his right rising grab or, or grab a rising aerial, yeah, it's going to be trouble. Uh, the movement right now. Ooh. Ooh, uh, nice. Oh, nice. There it is. There it is. Oh, no oh, yeah. yeah. I, I'm actually surprised he didn't grab the ledge there. We all know how old Mario Magna Hands gets yeah. down. <laughs> yeah. Jeez, man. The thing Again. is about Mario's recovery is that he needs his jump because he's able to transfer some of that upward mobility into the up B. It goes much right. further yeah. when you use it with your jump. So, yeah, I think right there, there was pretty much no way Karamo was making it back. But still, it, it was so close. You know, the, the yeah. tip of his hat. Could have grabbed the ledge. Right. If, if, uh, Chroma... uh Dude, I'm wow. very. It looked like he ledge hogged him, honestly. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I, I am very surprised Body Mario didn't grab yeah. the ledge. <laughs> HDR? It was that late air dodge to, like, avoid the banana. Like, that sealed the deal. That was actually really good from Tweak. I love that juke, too. He'll dash left, instantly know you want to tech right, right yeah. after. He's, I, he's baiting. Like, I, saw, you, I saw you pop off for that. I was yeah. like, oh, wow. Of course, bro. <laughs> All right. I'm hearing. Pokemon music. I think we're back on PS2. Oh, no. Well, let's look at the bands here. Right. Shout out to HO3K. That's a Pokemon song? Yeah, that's the Lord Keeper Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Never played Oras, but I think I'm Good choice, possibly mom. better off for that. Yeah, too much <laughs> yeah. water, bro. I can't swim. <laughs> <laughs> too much water. Oh, gosh. That's a lie. I can swim very well. I was going to say, can you not swim? No, nah, I can swim I very well. I got a lot scarier last night if you couldn't swim. <laughs> W movie. Yeah, anyway, good car movie. Go watch it if you haven't. Here we are. No way. <laughs> they were so All right, we're playing Smash Four neutral. Okay. <laughs> yeah. That's. A oh no. I'm glad. Okay. I'm glad people like realize that. Like, if two people are shielding in front of each other, it's definitely Smash Four. <laughs> you know what's funny, man? Is Brawl Ooh. and Ultimate have the Ooh. same exact thing, and everyone just memes on Smash Four about it. Because <laughs> it's, <just laughs> it's actually true. It's but you can parry true. is the thing. In, in oh Ultimate. yeah, yeah. Run up parry. So much different. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Wow. Karama at the ledge. Wow. He just wow. ran all the way over there. Did that he just run up quickly in power tilt? That is a re He did. He really did. That was a he, uh, like, deep dash for sure. No response to the us smash either. Tweak is very patient right now in finding this. Shows you how important it is to have a good grounded game against Diddy and being confident in your movement, which Karama has been in spades. Back air. Good stuff from Tweak. Huge for stock here. We know how important the lead is. Fourth back. Oh! Oh! Second hit, but it will work, man. The spacing. It still kills. Woo! I thought um, he missed that, bro. I that really would have been terrible. Too. It's those conversions we haven't seen a lot of from Tweak in this game, in this in this set. I'm glad to see him now. They're going to show up any time, at least it's game five. But Karama answering right back. Two stocks between these competitors, guys. They've been so good at calling each other's ledge jump, right? <laughs> Every they, time yeah, someone jumps yeah. from the ledge, someone gets hit. Just ledge options in general. I think about the conditioning Karama's gone for with those up smashes on the roll. You know, calling out the ledge jump down there like he did right there. Oh, no. Oh, my God. I don't know how he didn't nice. get more out of that. Look how Garama's playing around Banana, by the way. Comboing around it, spacing around it for his follow-ups. Like, just so good, man. I, I think it's so hard, and it's difficult for people to understand. Like, just being in front of the banana, like, getting yourself around the banana <laughs> space is so difficult to move. Ooh. And Junior's moving. Yeah, man, Whoa. it's the... Uh, the legit experience, and honestly, I kind of would say that Tweak plays most like legit. Oh, oh, no. I knew that was gonna happen. If you wow. need one, he waited it out. He saved that because Karama's done such a good job being so patient in those positions. But even if you're patient, man, you can get punished for it. Huge capitalization from Tweak. He is taking off with this game five. Karama's got to find something. We know he can. Just Tweak is rolling ahead. Just get the rage. <laughs> He's farming rage, actually. Yeah, it's just a strategy. <laughs> He's farming his win condition. Don't worry about it, chat. This is definitely far from over. We've seen Karama get back from these. Yeah, of course, this character with such a devastating punish game. One grab, one up air, even a down air underneath the platform. 
All of that could lead into death right now. Tweak's still in the red zone. Oh. I was going to say, his down tilt and up tilt have oh been my hitting gosh. too. Oh, oh, no, oh my gosh. Jump. He's dead. Oh, he's actually he's dead. dead. Yeah, dude. Mario with 66%. A little bit of rage. He's got to work up, I don't know, 30, 40, 50%. And then we're talking danger here for Tweak. So oh. willing to land into that banana. Uh, Karama is so confident, even at this kind of lethal range. Not exactly, but like Ooh. a little bit more percent. Banana and the S smash. Down tilt, up smash. This close quarter combat is so scary for both of them, and considering the percentages that we're at. Yeah. I don't... I don't want to see Junior get scared, or Karama get scared right now, because usually when I see Karama lose matches is when he's just too afraid to press a button. Huge ledge trap for Tweak. Gets back on. Nice movement from Karama. Again, the confidence, but he's just getting booted around. His percentage is so high. Tweak playing it ultra safe. Backs up to nice, the roll man. distance. He's hanging on to that banana for maybe 20 seconds at this point. He knows Ooh, it's his win condition, but they so did all that saved him. The landing down there just lingering there. He wants the banana for. Ah! Oh, oh my god! god. It, it worked! The get him attack worked! Yeah. I don't think Tweak believed that Karama would do something so silly. Right, because he caught him for it before earlier in the set, <gasps> man. This, oh! is, this is legitimately scary. Dude, a grab here for Karama. Oh no! Huge. No, that could be it. Oh, okay. oh, that double jump was so scary. No, that time. Oh, oh no! Don't get, don't get oh! Oh! What is oh, going on? Ah! He missed the grab! Reset, re please. Please reset to neutral. Okay, can he clip the jump? No. Patience for Karama. I love it, man. Yeah. Oh, oh that timing is the jump. Missed. The timing mix-ups oh. are so good. Ah! Oh! oh! Okay, the spacing so for both. Scary, bro. The spacing for both of these players. Oh! Wait! Wait! Oh, wait! He's dead! No, he's oh, not. Thank God. Thank God. Dude. Okay. Thank goodness. Oh, nice monkey flip punish on the banana grab there, but this is good for Karama. He gets to get off the ledge with banana, which is so helpful. He's now jumping this he's whole too time. Far. He's too far. What are you oh! doing? Ah! Oh! oh! Okay, Karama knows. Down tilt. He can't yeah, finish yeah, Double yeah, jump. Yeah, yeah. Double yeah. jump. Just a little bit. Golly, that last 30 seconds felt like it lasted a lifetime. Tweet clutching it out. Jeez. I, dude, Karama, though. Okay, I got to say. What a set from Karama. So well played in that matchup. I, you know what was so impressive was his discipline throughout. Even in the last hit scenario, he held onto that ledge for so long with no intangibility. He knew Tweak wanted to wait and look for an option, hit him with a banana, get a, get an aerial or something in that position, and Karama just waited, man. I love this kid's tenacity. The way he played, so disciplined. Amazing. What Yo, a set, dude. Why is my heart racing? <laughs> dude, I, I mean, you are you're as a Karama local homie, me as a Tweak local homie, has as a not-so-local Tweak homie. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The local podcast. Bros. Sweet talks, man. Like, oh my god, dude. That was that was just insane to watch. And the fact that we were bracing ourselves every time dude. any move hit from Karama at 20 something percent. <laughs> I will say that down tilt into fair was definitely like well calculated. That's a long term investment that Tweak did because so many times that like Tweak did something was just waiting for Karama to like panic afterwards. And at that point he was just like, Alright, I know you're not panicking. I'm just gonna throw this out and regardless it's gonna work out for me. That's right. So. What a set, what a set, man, I gotta say. <laughs> Tweak really warmed up in the last couple games, and it really makes you think about when Tweak got that KO in game two exactly. with the barrels, dude. Exactly. Oh, God. I don't want, I don't want to think I'm about sorry. it anymore. <laughs> I, I was I'm just sorry. about to bring it up, too, man. I mean, that was the deciding moment of, of the set. set. It gave man. him that longevity that he needed to adapt and, and figure things I, out. I love watching these two play, honestly. Yeah. Like, I know I'm, I'm big for my boy Karama, but Tweak is, like, my favorite player to watch just because the, that fundamentals game is just so good from Tweak.